Istanbul, here we come! What would you do if your money was inflating at the rate of 60% on an annual basis? How would you live your daily life? What would you use to protect yourself? This is the case of Turkey and that is exactly where we're going. We are the Bitcoin explorers and after chronicling the adoption of Bitcoin in Central America, we head to the Middle East. Hello, first stop, Istanbul. But first things first, Bitcoin needs the internet, and the priority for a Bitcoin traveler is always a local SIM card. Better if paid for in SATs. This is how fast it is to buy eSIMs online with Bitcoin. 30 seconds. Awesome. Istanbul, Turkey, day one of our exploration. There's nothing like the chaos of a beep, Middle beep, Eastern beep, city, beep. exactly. <laughs> Where are we going, Laura? We are going to buy some dirty fiat money. All right, we have to, because yeah. here in Turkey, the government is against Bitcoin as a tool of payment. Uh, the Turkish people, they can have Bitcoin as an asset, they can use it as a store of value, but they cannot use it to pay or to get paid. Turkey is a huge and wonderful country. 82 million people live in a land rich in history, tradition and culture. Despite this, for several years now, the Turkish economy has been in crisis and the local currency, the lira, has been inflating. According to some statistics, Turks are among the population that use Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies the most. But is it true? And what impact do these technologies have on the lives of ordinary people? Istanbul is full of Bitcoin exchanges, there are dozens of them, and therefore you will not find it difficult to get local currency. The regulations, however, are a bit confusing, so you may have to visit more than one. In Turkey, I mean, uh, they forced us to have KYC, and also the minimum limit is still 2000. Oh, 2000? Yes. We want to buy some Turkish lira and pay in Bitcoin. Yeah. We, we, can, we can pay only by dollar and then we can convert the exchange office. This is the place that you are looking for. Say it again? This is the place that you are looking for. The Istanbul subway is a mess, but we have to take it to reach a dear friend. It is a little known fact, but in this very city, there is the headquarter of the world's most famous little Bitcoiner. And we are back in Europe, mamma mia! Back to the old Europe. Why we are back in Europe? Because it's so crazy. In 10 minutes of subway, you can basically go from Europe to Asia. We were in the eastern part of Istanbul, that it's actually in Asia. And we just took the subway to come back to the western part, that it's in Europe. This is amazing. Istanbul is the only city in the world that it's part in Europe and part in Asia. Magic. Wow. While officially Bitcoin payments here are illegal, we know that there are businesses that accept them. How is it possible? We head to the world-famous Grand Bazaar in the city's historic center. More than 5,000 merchants who, for centuries, have been selling their products under one roof. The perfect place to ask if anyone accepts Bitcoin. Do you accept Bitcoin? Bitcoin, no. Thank you. 
Yes, Hi. Uh, is it possible to pay with Bitcoin? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Si. Do, do you accept have... Bitcoin? Mastercard, the Visa card. Okay. No. No, 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 no. We don't do. We don't do fiat money. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you he was shocked. <laughs> The don't they sell it in your You said Bitcoin on Binance. Yes. Uh, do you accept Bitcoin? Can I pay with Bitcoin? No. Thank Can't you. Really. At the end, a third of the people we asked were accepting Bitcoin. And for someone, we were the first transaction. We made it, Laura. Yes, and it was surprisingly easy to shop in Bitcoin at the Grand Bazaar. Yes, it was. A lot of merchants uh, accept Bitcoin. Yes. The only problem is that oh, everyone is on <laughs> Binance. Everyone was using Binance. Then what's in? Let the... It's over. Let's continue then. The problem is that everyone, everyone is on Binance. Yeah, they don't even tell you, yes, I have this app, Binance. Do you accept Bitcoin? Yes. And they open the Binance Everyone app. is on Binance, so they know nothing about self-custody. They know, uh, once again, there is a big lack of education, exactly like in El Salvador. Yes. All over the world, guys, we have to teach them how to use Bitcoin properly. Even the even the Lightning Network on the Lightning Network on Binance was oh, super yeah. slow. It's we, super buggish and it's un, it was under maintenance. Yeah, I don't know what you if, have if to. They, if it worked, it was super slow. We had to show them how fast a Bitcoin transaction. And by the way, is. what does it mean, Lightning Network under maintenance? What, what, what are you guys doing, Binance? <laughs> what are you guys doing? If you come to Turkey, you must experience the Turkish bath. Absolutely, it's a huge tradition here. Istanbul has so many different Tur Turkish baths. We chose the Sulimanie Hammami. Why we chose this? Because it's the only hammam that allows only families and couples. Usually in hammams, genders are separated, segregated. Uh, this hammam is beautiful, built in 1557 perfectly restored so it should be very atmospheric but unfortunately we're not gonna be able to film inside because there are gonna be nudity yes. and private people in there are naked no. <laughs> but we're gonna tell you everything about it later So, Laura, how wow. was it? <laughs> you have to try it, guys. Oh my god. It's amazing. It's so good. The heat, the soap. The massage. The whole place. The happy ending. Everything is made in marble. What happy ending? <laughs> <laughs> you have an happy no, no. ending. No, no. <laughs> must. It's a must. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Satoshi. This is very disrespectful, you know. Yes, I know. We don't post this. <laughs> we don't post this. 